On this video, I'm going to try and show you how to put uh, patches from the computer onto the uh, Phantom XR here. Yes, yes, that is the name. Okay, you got to go onto Ron's website, look up Phantom XR. Oh, yeah! And it pulls up the Phantom XR. Now then, let but us you begin. click on downloads, you see that downloads right there? And. You want to download most of these things. The driver, well, it depends on which system you're using. The system updates, the editors, you need the editors, the USB driver, uh, and then here's the, the thing, it's got 5080 patches for the Phantom X, and that's what I, I'm, I'm using to send a patch to the Phantom XR, I'm sending the old 5080 patches, or some of them, you can't send them all, well you can send them all, but you can only fit on the Phantom XR, I think 256 or something at a time, so you can't fit them all at the same time, but you just need to download a lot of this stuff and install it. Okay, first of all, you make sure your USB cable's unplugged from the Phantom and the computer, and then you click uh, Menu and you want to go to system so you push enter yes, yes. and then you want to push over to go all the way over to system USB and in system USB the USB mode has to be MIDI uh, you don't want it to be on storage so once it's on MIDI then it's okay Yeah. and you can plug your USB cord back in now and prepare for the the computer to say, prepare to install new hardware, and then you click on that, uh, the USB MIDI thing that you should have downloaded from the Roland website, the driver, and then the, the Phantom will work on the computer. Yeah! Okay, now hopefully the USB cord and the thing's working correctly now, and... Uh, you've installed the the editor, and the editor, when you install it, it has three different things, you see. Uh, it's got an editor, One, it's got a librarian, two, and it's got a sample converter. Three. And you're going to be using the librarian to send patches. So you click on librarian, and, and this pops up, okay. and you click... Or you click setup, setup mini device. You make sure the top are rolling Phantom X, and I have the bottom input output the Phantom X too. Uh, so make sure all those are Phantom the Phantom X. And if you don't see Phantom X, then you have a problem. You didn't install it correctly, and you need to start over. But anyways, hopefully those are set up right. That's right. And you can click MIDI read all data. <laughs> And then it'll show you all the patches, see how it's loading. And when they load them all, you'll be able to see what the patches are. Okay, now that they're all installed, you need to go file, open, and search for your Phantom X, XV, wherever you put the X. XV file in. You open that, and that'll be all the 5080 patches. And you can uh, you can click that box over there wow, wow, wow. and make it small because you actually have two things open at once. You have the XV and you have your own. Come on. And so you you can click this. You can click start. Boing. I don't know if you can see that. You can click this start button. It'll play a little sample, and you can hear what it sounds like. And you can test all the ones that you like. And when you find one you'd like. You just click on it and you say, uh, you go edit, copy, and then you go on to this other one, what's actually on your machine right now, and you just want to find which patch you want to replace, and you click on it, we'll do that one, and you click edit, replace. So now it's the roads. And then to write it on to the actual Phantom XR, you have to click, uh, you click write selected. 
and it asks you if you're sure and you can click don't show that again so you don't have to worry about seeing that again you click ok and it wrote it on to the phantom xr so when i go all the way to 243 in the user file it should be the rose I'm making these videos because no one else has and this is some important stuff that everybody should know that owns a Phantom XR and there's the Rhodes in there. and the Phantom XV has some great sounds they, I've had a Phantom XV 5050 and it was awesome I never had the 5080 I wanted it but uh, the 5050 was good enough for me but anyways uh, this is it from Josh peace out I am here to